and welcome to Pro Audio Reviews. Before we get into the video, I just want to introduce a new mini series which I'm going to be doing on the channel over the next few videos. And that'll be a back to back comparison of three plugin brands which I use on a regular basis. So that is Waves, SSL, and also Stock Logic plugins as well. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the three EQ plugins that we are going to compare in this back-to-back -back are the Waves Q10, the Logic Stock Channel EQ, and also the SSL X EQ. I know that Waves makes many EQs such as the Renaissance EQ and VEQ as well more recently, just to name a couple, as do many other brands. But I'm going to do this back to back based on the plugins that I personally use because I don't feel it fair to be able to speak about ones that I don't use as often. So I've split this comparison into three categories. These are user friendliness, design and features and also sound quality. I'm going to rate both user friendliness and design and features personally, but not sound quality. That's because it could depend on the quality of the video that you're watching, the sound card that you're using, the headphones that you're listening to this on as well. So I won't be rating this one and I'll let you decide on any differences you might hear for yourself. So starting with user friendliness, I felt that all three plugins allow you to manipulate frequencies using both the visual EQ and physical controls. One big handy feature which the Logic Channel EQ has over the Waves and SSL is its ability to increase the size of the plugin on the screen past 100% and it doesn't even pixelate. I found this very handy on my personal retina display which can make some windows look minuscule. It also keeps the plugin perfectly proportioned and doesn't pixelate it even up to 200%. There's one counterintuitive feature on the Waves Q10 that I didn't like. That is the frequency and Q value. The frequency and Q value require a horizontal mouse movement and the gain requires a vertical movement. I kind of understand that this is maybe to help distinguish the controls or maybe stop you from accidentally changing them. But even after using this regularly, I find myself changing the gain and getting momentarily frustrated that the frequency does not change. My biggest gripe on the SSL XEQ is shortcuts. As far as I'm aware, across Logic, Pro Tools and many other DAWs, the Alt or Option plus click has been pretty much universal to set the value to zero. And you can see this across various aspects of the platform, so plugins, faders, pan and many others. However, for some reason, SSL have decided to make the set zero command plus click. I've got no idea why they've gone in an opposite direction on this and it just slowed me down when using this plugin. Even more, as far as I can tell, on that particular plugin, the alt key or option key doesn't even have another shortcut. So in summary, in order of most user-friendly to least user-friendly, my number one spot is the channel EQ from Stocklogic. Number two is the Q10 from Waves. And in third place is the SSL XEQ. Moving on to design and features. Personally, I think that Logic's channel EQ has the most aesthetically pleasing design. It's got lots of bright colors as well, which aided my ease of use as well. So that definitely influenced my decision on it also being the most user-friendly. If you're looking for something more in keeping with what traditional hardware may look like, then the SSL XEQ comes out on top here. It's the only one of the three to feature actual rotary knobs to control the gain, frequency and Q. As far as the Waves Q10 goes, I think it's a bit safe with its design and it leaves a little bit to be desired visually. I'm going to rate these three based on their features, not their design, because I understand that that can be a personal taste as well. All three plugins allow you to manipulate gain, frequency and Q. However, both the Logic Channel EQ and the XEQ also include a built-in frequency analyzer. Logic have also gone a step further and even allow you to choose between pre and post EQ for the analyzer. 
A little extra feature as well is to be able to choose the rate of decay of this as well further down on a drop down. One feature that I really like about the Q10 is that every band can be configured to either a band pass, a low shelf, high shelf, low pass or a high pass filter, making it the most versatile out of all three. The Q10 also features a handy phase shift button which allows you to flip the polarity really easily. I found this most handy when I was working on something with multiple mics on a single sound source. So rather than having to bring up a separate plugin to switch the polarity, I could quickly do it on the Q10. So for that reason, overall, the Q10 takes my top spot for features. In second is the Logic Channel EQ. And in third is the SSL XEQ. So moving on to sound quality. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I won't be ranking based on sound quality, purely because I think it's just too subjective for a number of reasons, as I said earlier on. I'm going to play the same vocal line with a 10 dB band pass boost at four different frequencies, and those are 200 Hz, 600 Hz, 2000 Hz, and 8000 Hz. It's particularly interesting to listen to the nasal frequencies at 600 and also the intelligible frequencies around 2000. On all boosts at 200, 600 and 2000 a Q of 7 was used and at 8000 Hz a Q of 5 was used. If you are interested the vocals recorded into a reflection filter with a Rode NT1A into a Focusrite Scarlett interface. I know we fail this time, making lots of gold, but why is it worth the time? I feel about ready to go back home to Mother Earth and Father Time. I know we fail this time, making lots of gold, but why is it worth the time? I feel about ready to go back home to Mother Earth and Father Time. I know we fail this time, making lots of gold, but why is it worth the time? I feel about ready to go back home to Mother Earth and Father Time. I know we fail this time, making lots of gold, but why is it worth the time? I feel about ready to go back home to Mother Earth and Father Time. I know we fail this time, making lots of gold, but why is it worth the time? I feel about ready to go back home to Mother Earth and Father Time. I know we fail this time, making lots of gold, but why is it worth the time? I feel about ready to go back home to Mother Earth and Father Time. I know we fail this time, making lots of gold, but why is it worth the time? I feel about ready to go back home to Mother Earth and Father Time. I know we fail this time, making lots of gold, but why is it worth the time? I feel about ready to go back home to Mother Earth and Father Time. I know we fail this time, making lots of gold, but why is it worth the time? I feel about ready to go back home to Mother Earth and Father Time. I know we fail this time, making lots of gold, but why is it worth the time? I feel about ready to go back home to Mother Earth and Father Time. I know we fail this time, making lots of gold, but why is it worth the time? I feel about ready to go back home to Mother Earth and Father Time. I know we fail this time, making lots of gold, but why is it worth the time? I feel about ready to go back home to Mother Earth and Father Time. I know we fail this time, making lots of gold, but why is it worth the time? I feel about ready to go back home to Mother Earth and Father Time. So I hope you enjoyed that back-to-back -back comparison of those three plugins. If you liked the video, then feel free to drop a like down below or subscribe to the channel. 
and if you think there's anything that we could have done differently or there's any other plugins that you'd like to see a comparison with do drop a comment down below thanks for watching guys and hopefully i'll see you in the next video